You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Prime Minister Hun Sen, the president of the Cambodian Mine Action and Victim Assistance Authority, has decided to establish the Sambek Tekcho Fund for Mine Action under the theme Providing Safe Ground, Creating Smiles, to receive donations from philanthropists towards mine clearing efforts in Cambodia. EAC News reporter Deka Nin has the story. According to the first deputy chairman of the Mine Authority, Senior Minister Lee Thuyt, the fund was established on Sunday, 3rd of July 2022, when the Prime Minister called for a donation towards mine clearing efforts in Cambodia by delivering a speech on the 1st of July, National Fish Day, in Tropiang Thamor Reservoir, Bante Minche Province. The mining has so far seen the active support of the Cambodian Red Cross, the private sector, and philanthropists who have donated money to the fund. The senior minister added that after the contributions were made, the mine authority held a series of technical working group meetings to prepare a detailed plan and set the mining targets as a priority. In addition, on Monday the 4th of July, senior minister Lee Thuyt on behalf of Prime Minister Hun Sen, we chaired a meeting with national operators, including the Army Command, the Cambodian Mine Action Center, and the National Center for Peacekeeping Forces to allocate the mining forces and resources according to the set priority principles in order to provide security and smiles to the people of Cambodia. According to the Mine Authority, between 1992 and May 2022, over 2,400 square kilometers of land had been cleared of mines in Cambodia, destroying over 1.1 million anti-personnel mines and over 26,000 mines and over 3 million munitions and explosive remnants of war. Currently, an area of 1,990 square kilometers, equivalent to 14,121 minefields, still remains to be cleared. During this time period, there were over 65,000 victims of landmines and explosive remnants of war, 52,648 adult men, 4,793 adult women, 6,106 boys, and 1,393 girls. Of these victims, 19,818 were killed, 9,077 survived with disabilities, and 36,108 were injured. Nekanin, EAC News.